Alrighty, chat. Thanks for sticking around. Sorry about the break there. I don't know what's going on, man. The, uh, the water pressure to fill up my, my jug of water. It's like really low. Kind of weird. Took forever. I don't know. Kind of strange. But anyway, we're back. That was... Whew. Never taken so long to get a gallon of water out of a faucet before, you know? But anyway, uh, chat, thanks for sticking around. Do appreciate y'all. Hopefully everybody's having a great Tuesday. Welcome, and uh, thanks for being here. It is. Wow, it's hot in this room. After being in the house for a couple minutes, 80 degrees feels hot. But anyway, let's get back in team speak. Uh, Dr. Carson. Hello? Carson? I don't know if Carson's here. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi. Um, oh, how long has that stone picker been leased over there, I wonder? No idea. Huh. Didn't know that was there. Uh, how many beans we got left? About a bit. 166,000. We're probably going to fill up the train over there, right? Yeah. Like, we're legit going to fill the train? Should I rent a train and run them to the other? That'd be the fastest way, right? Probably. Let's rent a train real quick. Nothing quick about it, but you know. That's all right. Man. Man, oh man. All right. Woo woo. Come on, you're 3.5 away. So far. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Oh, I guess I could reset my game, right? Dave, you still wanting to join or, or, or Chuck? I don't know if you guys are still. I don't know. If so, I can reset. If not, that's fine too. It's all good either way. It's all good. All good. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's reset it real fast, chat. You want to do the train before? Nah, we do it after. It's all good. Better hope you don't break it then. Don't break what? Train. Right, it should be fine. Did you save? Yeah, I save. I, no, Carson. I'm just going to exit the game without saving. That would be something you would actually do though. So. And I don't have autosave turned on because it stops everybody's game if I do, you know? Good. You think I would exit without saving? Really? Yeah, I do. All that for tired of this grandpa well that's too dang bad um okay and go 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 obs look at that magic well got voice commands now it actually doesn't but that would I be bet there's a way you could set up i'm sure there is voice. actually you know, okay, so Carson, we were talking a while back about like putting my computers down in the in the basement, right? Yeah, we were just talking about it. Well, we have a few times now. I didn't realize there's a setting in Windows mm -hmm. so that when the computer gets power, it will turn on. Yeah. But I don't know if that's like I don't know how that quite works. That makes what sense. You do is put them on like a smart switch. Right That's now? what this dude on TikTok did. He put his computers on a smart switch, and so when he wanted to turn them on, he could do it from his phone. But I don't know if you have to turn them off by like killing the power to them, or if you just turn them off normal. Like turn them off by like the Windows setting. I don't even want to know what's happening there. Yeah, I was like, that could be really interesting because I totally I have smart switches laying around. I'm not using right now, you know. Yeah. The only thing would be is your computer is going to pull more power than those can probably handle, and you might fry them and catch them on fire. I think they're 15 amps. Well, right. depending on what you plug them in, like what you plug into it. Well, I wouldn't run both computers on one switch. Well, no, like your UPS or whatever. Yeah. You wouldn't plug that into it. Well, no, because every time you turn that off, your UPS is going to start beeping. Well, then also, but that thing's going to pull a lot more power than what a smart switch can handle. No. A battery? No. 
I'm on a 15 amp circuit out here with both computers, both batteries on one, one circuit, right? One out, like one circuit, right? That makes sense. So if I were to take that and do one plug for each computer and put it on the output of the battery, so the battery's plugged into the wall the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. And then just do the output, that would work. See, the, the regardless one makes sense, Leonard, right? In, my, in this application. So think about like, I put the PCs in the basement Put a smart switch after the battery, but before the power supply of the, of the computer, right? And then when I want to get on my computers, I just go on my phone and go boop, boop, and then boom, my computers turn on. I saw a TikTok where a guy was doing it, so I, I don't know if he, I don't think he had like server windows. I think he had just like regular windows. But I'm like, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. You know, I was like, that's, that's something I need to do. Cause like say Sundays where my computers aren't necessarily on when I'm at the farm, when I come home, I could just go boop, boop on the, on the phone, turn the computers on. And then when I come out here, like they'll be on, like, I don't know. It's la it's a lazy man way of turning a computer on. That's in a different room. I, I could just walk, you know, to said different room and just turn the computers on. But what fun is that? What fun is that? This dude waiting way back here? He is. Why is this guy it's waiting? In... Do what? It's in your BIOS. Is it? Yeah. You just look it up. Yeah, basically. I don't know why this guy's stuck back here, but They're they're getting stuck there and I don't know why. It's ever since you started. What I bet it might be. No, There's nothing here to get stuck on though. I don't know. Sometimes it's those planters. They have like a really awkward. I don't know. But they've been here the entire time. Yeah, no. What's up with that first guy? What's he doing? I don't know what's he got on him. Uh oh, he's got, oh he doesn't have enough to go. That's why. Okay. But yeah, I thought that would be, uh, that'd be kind of cool to set that up, you know? Like, that could be, that could be really neat, actually. I don't know. Just a dumb thought I had. Because Black Cat was... be normal and keep your stuff in your... Yeah, but it's too hot out here, Carson, you see. But we were, I was talking about one day, and Black Cat just said, Oh, get some wires and some, some buttons and just run them right to your motherboards. From, like, out here. And I'm like, you could totally do that, you know? Instead so of actually, that's funny. It says that. Hmm. So at uh, other place. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There's we we call it the we call it the main button. Okay. So we have like you know how like we have like our server room like our, our rack room. Is yeah. What we call it where audio and video stuff all run into. Mm -hmm. But you have, have you ever heard button. of a sequencer? Uh. Yeah, but probably not in the sense that you're talking about. So it's just basically a massive power unit. Okay. But it's split into three like stages. So there's delay one, two, and three. So it powers down and sequences. Ah. Sequencer. But what you can do is you can run wire and daisy chain a whole bunch together nice. of one button. So from our sound booth, we can push a button. Everything in the sound booth turns on, and then the, all the racks in the back oh, turn wow. on, all in a sequence. It's weird because you can hear them clicking, and then just like fans revving up. Because <laughs> like, like all the in-ear packs fans run. Like they rev up and then after that's done the next thing kind of goes through interesting it's really impressive when the amps start because those fans are loud leonard had i guess you'd have to hook up your computer to your battery more than just like the power plug right because i don't i don't have that i just have it hooked up put like to power i don't there's a usb connection on there i think i don't have that hooked up I've never messed with that part of, of the battery backups, to be honest. So, but I just thought it was cool. I'm like, this is an interesting little, uh, you know, interesting little like pro tip here for a computer being in a different room, you know? Yeah. I thought, that's kind of cool. We put our Max and stuff in our 
Yeah. I got you. Oh, insult. See, I've never installed. Uh, I've never done that. Software, what's that? Never heard of it. You need to, you need to make that stuff to where it's just like all like Ethernet ran. Right. Like over via the, the Ethernet ports. Dude, can we, can we smart, like make my uh, battery backup smart? Can you put like battery backup, battery backups around on Wi-Fi? I mean, like a lot of things are getting their control interfaces through like yeah. cat, like cat five cables. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All, All of right. our stuff interconnects through Cat5 cable. So I got 191,000 soybeans, and I'm taking the barley as well. That should be enough. So there'll be enough room here for everything. I think then. barley was the second most. Yeah. Uh, 43,000 is what I have, so. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the uh, follow-up. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? There's still 95K here. Oh, oh. There's plenty of room, then. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of room. But yeah, I think that would be a, a cool little, like, you know, little, little software thing or a little thing to do. Or, oh, I got you, Chuck, or uh, Leonard. Chuck, not Chuck. Chuck's name popped up on my other screen, but I'm not going to say why, Chuck. I, I got you. Sorry to not trying to, like, out your what you're doing on Steam, you know. Got you, Leonard. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Oh. Yeah, that's another thing I'm going to have to get eventually is some kind of uh, remote software. My brother was talking about one the other day. I'm assuming it's free, but he says it's like it's like the software. I don't remember what it was called. Not TeamViewer. It was some other one. Although, really, I don't know how much I'm going to... I'm going to need to let Carson have remote access to that computer, I guess, to set everything up probably, right? Like the rust stuff, I don't have a clue how to do that. Farm sim I should be able to handle. It's pretty straightforward, to be honest. But the rust stuff, I don't have a clue on that one. So, we'll figure it out, though, chap. I think, if nothing else, building a server PC is going to be a... Out? Huh? What do we need to figure out? Uh, how to like set up our own Rust server eventually. Like on my server PC. Uh, I think if nothing else, like setting up a server PC is just gonna be an awesome learning experience, you know? Like if nothing else. So I'm looking forward to it. But just, you know. I kind of can't decide like if I should like go see if stuff I once on Prime Days or just wait till after because really Prime Day deals aren't deals. So yeah, just saying, Prime Day deals are kind of a scam. So. Not saying everything is, but there was something I was looking at this morning that was like still ten dollars higher than it normally is. So I was like, hmm, that's oddly suspicious. But it was on Prime Day sale. Like 30, 40% off, but it was $10 higher than normal. So. Kind of weird. Thanks for that follow as well. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome in. See, I could have, when I when I put the PCs in the house, I could have first time turn them on. Like on a Sunday when I come home, I could be like, hey, can you turn my PCs on? But I, he won't. Just holler down the stair at him. Hey. Yeah, right? That would be funny. No, the plan would be when I put the PCs downstairs is both the batteries that I have here will go down there. One for each PC, right? And then I'll need to buy a, another decent sized battery to run like, you know, monitors and stuff out here. Because if, you know, the monitors aren't on a battery, but the PC is, that, that really does no good. And I yeah. learned that back in the day because I, I lost an editing project because I couldn't see to save it. So... Yeah. Yeah, they are, Yulberry. They really are. What gets me on Amazon sometimes, and, and I don't really fall for it, but, like, it's funny. When it's like, there's three left in stock, and I'm just like, yeah, right. Okay, bud, you know. Those always, uh, those always make me laugh. Like, sure there is. There's probably, like, 20, but, you know. 
All right. I think it's time chat. Time to landscape, right? Oh boy. Everybody contain your excitement, okay? Please. All right, so we're going to start over here. This is the grade that I wanted the other day right here. We're going to use this grade for everything south of the bin, basically. And basically to right behind the house here. That's going to look weird there. Oh, we might change that there because now that fence is floating. That's fine for now. Fine for now. Come on. So this is all going to be homestead. At least that's the plan, chat. Look at that money just disappear. Ooh, that's healthy. It's healthy and not in a good way. Wow. We are going to level all of this. Everything gets leveled. We got the laser out and everything, chat. Or something. It is incredible that money just... Wow. Goodbye, two mil. Yeah. Probably, but that's okay, because that's why we have the money is to spend it, right? That's why we have it. Problem is, I don't know if going over it that fast is actually, it is, okay. It's, it is leveling it like I want, so... We're fine. I might, I'll probably redo this edge down here as well. Eventually. Na, 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 na. Oh man, we are spending so much money. This is where we need bulldozers and like do it ourselves, you know? <laughs> Just saying. Oh, all of our money. It happens. This is going to be a nice level field, though, when we get done. This might cost, like, a couple dollars. That's fine. It's okay. So what? But it's only money, right? Yeah. It grows in the field. I mean, literally, yeah. Literally grows in the fields. Yep. When we uh, sell those soybeans that we just harvested, we'll make all this back and, and then some. The expensive part's going to be like sheds. We got to put oh, yeah. up buildings yet. That's not cheap at all either. For the record. So that'll be fun. That's getting cut out quite a bit there. I need a decorative tree line or something along there. We'll fix it eventually. All right. Nice and level. Here for it, chat. Oh, that road. I don't know that we're going to be using that road anymore, y'all. <laughs> road might be... Uh, and not be able to pass on that road anymore. Which road? Uh, this side one down here. Um, between forty. Going out? But no, south between forty-seven. Oh. And, yeah. Is it the teardrop? Yeah. The silo's empty now. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice. All right. Now I'm not worried about flattening this field here. Uh, to my right, because we're, not, we're just going to farm that. And same thing here with this crick is. I just want to, like, fill this in. Best of my ability. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have landscape anywhere. 
We can landscape the world. With great power comes great responsibility, huh? All right, so now, as far as I'm concerned, we'll just uh, soften this out. I wish this tool, I know you can adjust the brush strength here, right? I wish it had a more aggressive, like a turbocharged setting. It's not quite aggressive enough for me sometimes. But that's just me. There's a lot of softening to do here, so... And it's really hard to tell what you're doing sometimes, too, you know? Very, very difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit it with the NOS. You betcha. And really, you just kind of have to watch your money sometimes, I feel like, to be able to tell what you're doing. Are we actually doing anything? I don't know. Are we spending money? Then yes. Kind of how it goes. I'll have to fix all this auto drive off stream sometime too. Maybe I'll work on that tonight. I don't know. I have no plans tonight and I'm happy about it, chat. Nothing going on. After dinner, that is. Don't have a clue what I'm making yet, but that's okay. They could have leftover pizza. There is pizza in there from last night. Um, I may have uh, had my pizza last night. So when we order, we get separate pizzas basically because it's St. Louis thin crust. So think of like a cracker with you know pizza toppings on it, basically. Pretty much St. Louis thin crust right there. So, uh, you know, if you say, oh, you had a piece, everybody will laugh at you because uh, it's nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it's cut in squares, too. So, definitely not a lot there. Yeah, I'm out. Still spending money, so we're still softening. Again, a bulldozer with like a nice. Uh, GPS or laser system, you know, and you miss emos. So I don't actually get emos. I get from uh, another place in town, but yeah. Anchor. Nice. Nice. I'm assuming you lived or were in St. Louis at least for a little while. You're somewhere around the area, I guess. Not just St. Louis. I love me some St. Louis style pizza. I am a huge fan. We don't get it super often, but every once in a while, the place we get from, they run, uh, they have like weekly specials. So on Mondays, you get like a, uh, like a large pizza for the size of a small or something. So it's, you know, it's still like way too much for four people to eat, but you know, that's all right. You're up across the river, but you're in upstate New York now. Gotcha. Gotcha. I believe emos will do, uh, they, they freeze them and ship them, I believe. You'd have to Google that, but I'm pretty sure they will for, you know, a, a, a premium. But, yeah. On. I just want to stop spending money on this corner. I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not, though. No, we're not spending money that fast, I guess. We'll have to walk all this, too, to walk or drive. I'm not sure. Either one. We'll have to figure this out, though. Pizza's all bread. Oh, man. You know, that's an interesting thing about pizza to me is just how many different types there actually are. There's so many different types of pizza out there. And personally, I haven't found one I didn't like. I like them all. I've never had like a real authentic New York pizza, but... Chicago, I'm here for it. 
Detroit. I'm here for our Chicago. I definitely Chicago. I'm a huge fan of Chicago pizza. Huge fan. Which, you know, if you think like Chicago versus like St. Louis, the polar opposites when it comes to pizza. You know, totally a different thing. But still delicious. Both of them. But yeah. All right, so probably what we'll do is we'll put our field in. And then I'll have to go back around and do some painting. To paint in the uh, the meadow grass like right here because it looks weird without it. So break out my Bob Ross hat or something and do some painting later. That's all right. For right now, that's pretty good. We'll... We'll have to check some of this out with a tractor as well. Just to see how awkward it really is. I know over here is pretty awkward, but it happens. Definitely. I didn't realize that made a different sound for a different size tool. That's interesting. Did not know that. Definitely not going to be using this road, though. They have kind of ruined that option. Although, actually, if we smooth... though, no, we're going to undercut the road. I don't want to do that. If we soften this out enough, you could use the road. Carson, you must be bored. That bin's empty, right? I think he said it. Okay. I'm testing it, yeah. Oh, okay. You're testing the testing. It. Okay, that actually makes sense. Let me know if you find any weird like dips. Just a bit, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Not you. Not for semis. Okay. Tractor. Oh, what? Well, let's see. I've undercut the road now too. I really don't like what I've done there, but uh, I might have to fix that later. There's a little. I guess that's across the entire field. That uh, right where you're at? Behind over here. On this side, it looks like it all just slopes down. It does. See that? See where the field like is still the, the chaff from the field? Yeah. Whoa. That's the stuff I didn't landscape. This is gonna be a field, so if it has a little slope to it, that's fine. What about all the stuff you landscape back here? Right there that should all be flat where you're at, right there. Yeah, we're all back here. Is this not going to be field anymore? Uh, so from this road to the north, no. So like where I'm at, field. Yeah, not. That's going to be homestead. Dang. I yeah, it might be a little much, but. This is a little tippy. I got training wheels, so I left the header on. <laughs> oh, I, and I know the fence is like sticking out of the ground, but I can't delete the fence, so. And then north of the bin, I haven't like done that yet. That that might be like phase two of this whole thing, or I'm I'm about to do oh, it right dude. now. I'm about to oh. do it. I'm just gonna do it. Forget it. We're doing it. We're doing it live chat. All right, so we're gonna take this elevation from right the only here. Thing is there might be a few like those like side hills. Yeah. That we'll have to harvest them interestingly. Well, if they're we that aggressive, we can fix it. Bigger headers. They're that aggressive, we can fix it still. Don't worry. All right, so don't don't look over here yet, Kay. Uh, we're Bill O'Reilly in this. We're doing it live, chat. Put a fence up down the side of the road. I will. Oh, <laughs> hydraulics. Uh, actually, can we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nasty power, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. See how easily that thing did that? The massy power, huh? Put that on the advert. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did it again, but going down. Gravity really helped. But... Gravity helps. Right? All I'm right. Sure, you sell this, Ben. Uh, that bin is going to get sold. Yeah, if you want to sell it, you can. I'm still in landscape mode, dog. I haven't gotten that far yet, you know? 
And just saying. 45,000. Bam. Oh, I forgot about these, like, fields right now. Yeah. Go bad, Joe. Yeah. All right, so okay, here's... Yeah, you might want to come back. Here's the plan. I'm going to keep moving my camera back and forth until I stop spending money on this edge up here. <laughs> That's the plan, anyway. Because ideally, we'll get that. Yeah. I don't really want to go too much closer to the road than we are. This is probably pretty good. Stop spending money. You've not wanted a Baha blast. L3 FT 4D3 at Chirdex 100 or until you run out of money. Wow, left. Left, thanks to the bits. How's it going? I have plenty of money, sir. We need to fix that. What? Back like. Whee! Back by the, um. Of the pavement. Me where? Are you stuck? No. Back. I'll just drive there. Yeah, it's easier, honestly. There you go. Since yep. I don't have my super speed. Back here. Back where this dude's walking. Oh, yeah. There's gonna have to be an elevation change somewhere here. I'll try to hide it with like a shed or something. So I'm gonna leave it for now until I get like Save those two of you. What I want in here. This is looking magical chat. Magical, okay. Alright, so here's here's the plan. The T. The T here's Do we the... wanna switch these plows out for a few of the bigger ones or just we'll send an army of these? I don't care. We don't, well, we only have one tractor that'll pull the bigger one. True. So that bin holds 1.1 million. Yay. That's it. Pretty good, dog. Pretty good. Okay, so and snap field these. 50. And south is going to be field, right? Uh, 47 and 48 upper. Basically, Humpton. roughly that road to the south is, yeah. We can, we can, well, I don't know yet. That's a good point. I wouldn't go north of that right now. Actually, Dave, do you have perms to plow? Dave does have perms. Okay. Um, I wouldn't go north of where you're at, Carson, right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm establishing a field boundary. Okay. So about... I want to go with the 1.1 million men. So it's like. Eighty-four thousand dollars. This field, not like far over until you want to cut up towards the house. So I was thinking, for right now, what if you line it up with the west edge of fifty-two? Okay. Just, just Do you want right like now. a curve there, or like uh, a just make it square? You a shape, you a shape, you a square. There you are. No, I'm a shape. I'm round. Thank you. What? Okay, uh, snap it to the grid. Problem is, I want one kind of in this corner, but if I go... L3FT 4D3 at Chirdex 100, I vote for oval. Vote for oval. Alright, left. What we could do is we could curve it oh, around. Curve. Yeah. The, um... It'd be like a slight curve, but curve it around so like that field drain tile or whatever it is is oh. on like quote the homestead side, so it's not in the field. I, I was yeah for for I mean we can always change it. So. Oh my! For the love of Hannah Montana, get my thing set just right down here. Come on! Oh my goodness! It keeps going to point zero one or point one. I can't get it rotated, just I'm trying to rotate my map so it's like perfect. So what if I scroll to my right, it'll stay on the line. I'm trying to get it zeroed out and it's just not working. 
Oh, Why? I forgot about that. What? The little field texture. Like the little leaves in their creek. You have to uh, plant to get rid of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you to get rid of them. I've known that if I watched the video on how to remove I can get it to 360. 360, that should technically be the same, right? 360.0? The same as zero, right? Yeah. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, four. That's four. That's. All right. That's enough bins, right? Five for now. That's. Oh, man. Look at. Look at that. Aren't they just party? So if you look at the. The cloud map or whatever. Like the I'm here. Birth. Yeah. I guess you can just climb. Yeah. See, that's that's what I wanted. I wanted that drain to be not in the field this time. Yeah. We can curve it around it, or we can it just leave it straight for now because I don't really know what, everything I'm doing in this homestead yet. You know. That's scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't 100 percent know what I'm doing. I like my bin placement though. I like the bins. Dementia. Be back in a bit. Ghost, have fun. We'll catch you later. Have a good time. I'm looking. Chuck, I got two bins at my farm. I'll sell you. You just got to come get it. Come take it apart and haul it. It's all yours. I'd give it to you, Chuck. I wouldn't even sell it to you. All right, so what we're going to... it, you can have it. <laughs> yeah, you want to come up and I'll take it apart, you can have it, Chuck. Um, I actually have a guy. The guy I traded the two cases of beer for the uh, CA. He, like, desperately wants one of the grain bins and make it, like, a backyard barbecue hangout area. Like, in the worst way. You cut, like, a big hole in it. It's a whole thing. So here's uh, five bins, by the way. These hold over a million apiece, so 1.1 mil. So here's 5.5 .5 mil. I look at me. I did math chat. Um, wow. That's a lot for, for this map. Let's just be real. So probably what we'll do is we'll leave this for future expansion. If we want more, we could always put more bins in. You know? The far right yeah. bin looks off. Left, you look off. I think the spacing is actually off just a smidge. But you know what? From bat From down here. Oh, it is. It's actually back a little bit, too. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, everything's just, fine. Everything is awesome. Is this all the choices that we have here? Wait, on Elm Creek, these are the only choices you have? No yeah, way. You don't actually have actual grass. Well, you have meadow grass, so you can plant. I thought we had more like rock like textures we could paint. I guess we're just doing gravel because there's no like rock, like big rock. It's this one right here. This is what we have to do. Okay. All right. I thought on Elm Creek for some reason we had more options, but we don't. All right. Oh, no. That's an L. <laughs> I clipped it. Don't worry. Uh, oh, man. The best part about this is I haven't even shifted a line yet. Oh, really? For the plows. Just rolling with what it is. And it's actually really close. Rolling in the deep, huh? Like. Impressive. That is, that is mad skill right there. Actually, this whole thing's probably going to be this gravel, so. To be honest. soften this up just a little bit chad i know this is thrilling and i appreciate y'all being here for this you know this is just it's just part of you know designing a homestead i appreciate y'all being here that's a movie category from farm sim to like painting. art do what you move your category from farm sim to art art yes art want to be bob ross hello i'll left i'll fix this spot eventually sir don't worry. 
I will fix it. I just want to soften this hill out just a little bit. Problem is, it's not going to be even no matter what I do, so. Because the softening tool is like a... Depends how long you hold it on there to make it, you know. Fine. That looks, that looks, that looks good, right? I think. The bin is off though a little bit. Um, leave you the bin being off. That's fine. I can do that. I can do that. Left. Can you bring the soften tool down to the bottom left corner of 50? Yeah, hang on a minute. Oh, I gotta hang on. I gotta start with this. Then do this. That's right. All right, what you need, Carson? The bottom left corner of 51. Bottom left corner of 51. This okay. corner is not... Not very swath. You yeah. might fair. I'm spending money. Yeah. That better or no? Yeah. Like where? Like right on my back right tire. Alright. Spending a ton of money softening right there right now. That looks better. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure that I'm done down there either, so the record. All right, so we're not putting productions in the homestead. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Actually. Soften that a little too much because now it goes like downhill again. Right, and then somewhere here there's gonna have to be a bit of a transition down because like this is lower down here so it looks that all looks fine to me and a little money right here maybe that all looks good here I'm liking this chat what do you think so far oh my God, camera stop clearly the no collision camera mod does not work for um Landscaping. <laughs> Clearly, it does not work. And then I'm thinking, like, you know, this fence scene chat. This is what I was thinking. We put a fence across here because we're not going to be driving across here anyway. Okay. So we put a fence. Oh my God. We put a fence across the top of this here. We'll have to landscape that road out, of course. So auto drive's not going to be a thing in the homestead for the rest of the day, okay? Because I'm, I'm not fixing it today. To be honest. That's cool. I didn't realize you could put it across the train like that. Why won't it? Yeah. Should have probably started on this end, but like something like that. Okay. Okay. We'll fence all that off. Um, and then we'll paint this out as well. Yep. That looks good. Yeah. Paint that all real quick. Paint this. Into actual grass. Meadow. The meadow variety. Not the road. Okay, and then we'll come back in here with this and finish this hillside out. Oh yeah, chat. 
And most likely this is all going to end up being that. That's not too big of a gravel look. I, I kind of like that, right? For the homestead. Quite possibly. In between all the bins. Chat, you didn't know you're signing up for Bob Ross Sim today, did you? <laughs> Bob Ross Simulator. All right. I still don't know what to do with that fence down there because you can't do anything with the darn thing. So probably this down here is just going to stay open for now in case we want more bins um, eventually. Right here needs to be worked on, though. This is kind of that awkward, like, transition here a little bit. Between the upper homestead, kind of, and the lower homestead, in a way. I know what that is. I'm kind of thinking maybe, like, just put a shed like here or something back it up against that fence uh just to hide the shit hide the fence you know mm. i don't know so last time we made this we had and i'm not trying to replicate here or anything you know but we had uh lots of buildings lots and lots of buildings i don't actually have any like modded buildings or anything like that we're doing all it in game or you know whatever but yeah, like gotta love the old, uh, the old uh, easy shed here, you know. The old back in style easy shed, gotta love them. They work out quite well for everything, honestly. Um, yeah. I know we're wasting some room, but I think we'll put some more trees back here what I'm kind of thinking. This is kind of what we had last time. We had just a couple easy sheds here. And that's that's great for just backing in one implement, one, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm all about that. And then uh, we did have, I think we had one of, no, oh, which shed did we have? I See, I personally really like having sheds. I know this isn't for everybody. But I like having random sheds or just a lot of shed space. I'm, I'm all about it usually. So if this one actually bumps out on the back, where's the door? Door's there. Door's on the end. This one has a shop inside as well. Something like this would work. Still have room for, I think we'll try to actually keep a road back here. It might actually work. Putting everything on grid. Okay, so there's that. That's the same shed without the shop. Uh, does that have an, that does have an endor, so does that does not. That has two endors. We'd be blocking an endor, but who cares? It's fine. Put a breezeway between them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're making this is going to be great, y'all. The big thing I want with this homestead is room. Lots of room. It is nice to have just like open areas. Um,. It is very nice. By the way, you guys were talking about money before. Now look at our money. After buying a couple sheds. Money's non-existent anymore. I was thinking about maybe a couple... Going you know, with solar buildings. They're really expensive, person. They make money. I know, but that's $152,000 a building as opposed to 35000 for the same building. Which one's going to make you money? 
a solar building, even though I hate that idea. What else do we? That's about yeah. I can just have some pavilion style here, like two. Right here, and this can be for like combines. And then I don't really know what to do with this side of the homestead besides I think we need to stop for now because we're going to be poor here in a second so yeah I think we're uh, about done we'll do a little bit of painting real quick and there's more to go in the homestead but like I said I uh, I gotta stop we're running out of money rapidly here so clean all that gravel up get all their stains yeah because there's there's more i want to do i want to put like you know uh seed fertilizer i guess all that kind of stuff in here eventually too we have we have uh mechanics walking around yeah that's, the, that's the mechanic house mechanics yeah that's what we're gonna call them yeah That's a good call, Carson. Yep, mechanics. You betcha. All right. Actually, I don't think I want to go up behind those sheds. I think I want to put some trees back there. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I think we're going to have to run a planter over. Uh, there's going to be spots anywhere where there was a creek. Mm -hmm. We're going to still have to run a planter over because it doesn't actually get rid of everything, unfortunately. Do we have the flower to just... Planter. I think you can literally just drive a planter over it. Like, put the planter down and go. I think. I hope. Otherwise, well, maybe not. <laughs> but I think you can. Alright, and eventually I want to put, like, lighting in here and make this all lit up. And then, like, we have so much more room over here to do something with yet. So much more room. But I, I'm just out of money. Like, I Factories. would be very tempted to put, like, this building here or maybe face it that way. Put this building, like, right in here. Yeah. But I, we're kind of low on money, so I don't want to do that. But something like that would be cool. I don't know. We have options. We still have more big buildings, so. What were you going to say, Carson? Factories. Factories animals <laughs> wasn't planning on doing any of that stuff but but we have plenty of room animals. for activities for the mechanics yeah all right i am gonna just paint this right to the field here though you can go into the uh ground into like the plow ground i've got a line i mean i'll make it straight like if you oh, oh okay, then I won't worry about like locking in my map like I'm trying to do here. Just don't go like too far in. Yeah. Okay. Alright, it's all yours. Have fun. So we're not going to actually use this as a road right here. If we use this as a road, we'll come up and go up this way with uh, like an auto drive path but i don't think we will have to honestly so we'll just do that all right so much oh and you know what the other thing is we gotta buy augers we don't have we have a little auger somewhere around here uh actually here let's go back into this as well the chat we did it we we like 
I don't know what kind of tree is even that. What tree is that, chat? Don't say I never planted a tree, chat. <laughs> they stick that sticks to the building a little bit. That's all right. It's fine. I like how our trees grow out of stone. I'm not done yet, sir. <laughs> sir? Have you never seen a tree growing in a gravel farm before? Nope. Really? Nope. Well, they grow them in like nursery series and like gravel. <laughs> and then they, uh, that's yeah, a thing. You should put a fence right there. Okay. Right on like the edge there. Is that? Just make it look nicer. Like dress it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, like on the from the corner of the building, like to the bridge, maybe. Yeah. Like on an angle. I don't care. Apparently, you can't put it that close to the building. Okay. You mean you can't share building foundation with fence foundation? Apparently not. No. Like that. Ah, that ain't it, Chief. No, not the angle. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely not the angle. We're just gonna go like here. Ah, uh, you might want to get out of there. You're gonna be trapped forever. Place it. That. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. We could even put like the like a cedar or something right there. That's kind of a perfect little notch for uh. You could put like seed for it. Like a bin right there. If we had like, you know, money. Yeah, that's true. Like you could put this like right here. That's kinda like I gotta stop some money. I gotta stop. Oh man, look at it. it's just so open. Open sesame. It's just so open, chat. What's that do to our environmental stuff though? Well it's a hundred, so hopefully it stays there, right? Well, time's also on zero, and... Yeah, I know. I know. We gotta buy a big uh, auger at some point. Alright, now, I know this is gonna look really strange, y'all. But... If I remember correctly, and well, I don't often do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what can I plant in October? This is gonna yell at me. Grass. Uh, wheat. This doesn't do wheat. Grass. Don't oh, think you probably can't do anything. With I can't plan. do anything with this lighter. Dang it, Bobby. This used to work, though. Drag this across there, and that would work. But not with this planter, I guess. Not today. Not today. Anyway, that's how you got to. I'm like speaking fast time here in a minute though. Uh, you guys need help plowing? Uh, we're almost done with this bottom part. Okay. And then it's just where the creek was. Why am I driving this up there, chat? We have sheds. You can start parking stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is actually a big enough to put this in. It, it does fit. It's just. Is it a little awkward? Precision. No, it. It oh, it's it, in there. It's like a dream. Well, that's if you go at an angle, but like if you go straight in and out, it might catch. Like a glove. We're fine. I'll start parking stuff. That's fine. I'm here for it. Actually, how much is a uh, how much is an auger? We can take some more loan out if we have to. I don't think an auger's three hundred fifty thousand oh. dollars. Thirty thirty five thousand. I was thinking we're gonna go with this big one, right? Yeah, we already have the drive over deck, don't we? We do, yeah. Yeah, because I moved it. Yeah, 35, that's actually way too cheap. They're way more than that in real life, I believe. Just throwing that out there. God, I turn the corner and I see that monstrosity. I'm like, what is that? Now, can you move that? Thanks. 
It's the Carson creation. We don't really have anywhere to park our headers, do we? I think we have space. Oh, we got space. Hey, Josh, what's up, man? How you doing today? Welcome in. Used ish. I would. I don't know how much an auger goes for in real life, but I'm gonna guess it's more than more than thirty five thousand dollars for a thirteen inch, ninety four inch auger with a. You know, for the hopper on it, I'm assuming it's more than that. If a if a drive over is twenty two thousand dollars, and our little logger is thirty seven thousand dollars, right? That's not the one we have. We got this one, the fourteen five. Yeah, we might go to the bigger one of those. Well, that's that one that does the seed treatment. We don't need that. We don't need that. Well, we could run our own seed that way, I guess. That's all right though. Used ish. Carson. <laughs> Why are you trolling me, dog? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why. I've always wanted to pull an auger down the road, IRL. Like a 100 foot long aug auger. I don't know why. I never have. But I've always wanted to. Not sure. Do, 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 do. Gotcha, Dirty Josh. Sounds like fun. I mean, not the air conditioning part, but, you know. That sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys got a lot of plowing to go. Okay. You got this whole other crick area. Yeah. Plus that side of the field we can expand to if we want. Well, maybe I'll grab a plow and help out, huh? I mean, it is kind of your game. Look at all that area for expansion still, chat. Oh, man. All this parking that needs to happen. That's all I see is a nightmare of parking all this stuff. We probably have more shed space than we need right now, but that's okay. Maybe we should get now. one of those. Um, maybe we should get one of those sheds out of the mod hub that's for like storing uh, headers, and then you Not use like content, whatever, and then you use like the uh, what's your doodle the thing. Like a wheel loader to pick up the header and put it in the in like the rack. That'd be cool. Wait, is this not? Can you not get in this one to move it? Oh. You actually, wait. This one actually requires a tractor to be hooked up, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, Roderick, this is Elm Creek. Like legit Elm Creek. I don't know that I've used this auger before. We may not stay with this one. We'll see. The yellow one, you can, like, get in. This one actually requires a tractor, though. I like that. I'm, I'm here for that, chat. Um, how do you, like, unfold a Zach? Okay. I think we need to get the Zetter to run it. This auger's not, gonna, this auger's not big enough. Uh oh. This auger is not at all big enough to... Um... Chat, why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> this auger doesn't even hit the roof, dog. Is that the biggest auger in the game? No. <laughs> well, this was five grand. This was the big one in the uh chat, this is where I, why I wear diapers when I stream. L3 FT 4D3 at Chirdex 100 short auger problems. Laugh thanks to the bits. Yeah, big R. I uh, I see that now. For some reason, I was man. I kind of wanted to use this one too because this one actually, you know, requires a tractor. The other one doesn't, and I know the other one in the past anyway. We had issues with it walking. I was hoping to try this one out, but I guess we'd have to use the smaller bins uh, to run this auger. So, 
It happens. It happens, guys. God, Arson. What? Your DM. What about it? <sighs> Your story about that, actually. Hmm? Nothing. It was a TikTok video I watched this morning. It made me laugh. Anyway. Okay. Do okay, we but... Ex do we want to extend 54 and 55, like... Down? To the east? Yeah. Yes, that's why I got rid of those trees. Don't get too friendly with the road, although we won't run auto drive on that side anymore. Okay. We'll probably put an auto drive point, like we'll take the 50 point and probably put it up north here somewhere in the north, like in the, in the elbow there. Okay. 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 Okay, Buckwheat. Okay. Urge. Put it in reverse, Terry. All right, let's uh, sell that bad boy because, uh, you know. El Junko. Oh, it's not junk. It's just not, not quite it's good. short, old. though. Yeah, short. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, I, don't know, I like the look of that one, too. Obviously, that's not going to work for our bins. I understand that. I'm just looking, Chad. I don't often mess with this AGI stuff, so. I was really wanting to use something from the AGI pack. Maybe we can switch to this one to like unload our bin or something. I don't know. But yeah, definitely going to have to go with this bad boy here. 16 inch, 90 feet. How's that work? This one's 94 feet. Hmm. This one's Magic. 90. Interesting. I think somebody's lying about some numbers here, chat. Hmm. I know this. Why is it? Why is it ten less thousand dollars? Because it's not AGI. Oh. Uh, you're paying the for the, the brand name, dog. Oh no. What? Yeah, <laughs> you can't pull it. Why will this tractor not? Um. Do you need some help there? I think I need a different tractor. I know just the tractor. The next one that I tab to that doesn't have anything on it? Yeah, you're right. I was going to say they're really big. They all have some. <laughs> I do, actually. Why? Why? It ain't got no gas in it, huh? There's the handbrake on. Clearly, Dave, yes. Clearly, the handbrake. I hate when that happens. Forgot to pick up the boat anchor, okay? That's what it actually is, Chad. That's going to be a decent sized field when we get done, huh? I mean, I know we took a lot of it with Homestead, but. And like I said, the homestead's not done, Chad. We're just, we're just done for today with it because, you know, money. Financial reasons. Yeah, financial reasons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there an earthquake? Uh, I don't know why. I haven't heard anything today. No idea. Tornado. Tsunami. Tsunami. See, that puts that weird hitch in there. But this will pull it just fine. What the heck? Weird, chat. Weird. That is very strange. Why will the other one not? Whatever. Don't question life sometimes, you know? Don't question life. Oh, oh, oh. The... So, I remodeled the homestead today. 
and uh, as, and as pe preparation for the remodel, Carson was nice enough to basically move out all of our equipment out of the homestead. Uh, so that uh, baler, or that, that's not a baler, that, that <laughs> combine ended up on a bale trailer. Yeah, I knew bale was in there somewhere. Uh, all of our tippers are chilled at the gas station. I think this might be a wannabe Casey's. I bet they have some Hunt Brothers pizza in there. Just saying. They're all chilling. Uh, there's equipment piled in the front yard. There's equipment uh, piled over, over here, over yonder. So there's kind of equipment everywhere right now because of the uh, remodel project. Because, you know, when you're going to remodel a homestead, you got to clear out all your equipment because it was all landscaped and painted and all that fun stuff. All the fun stuff, y'all. So as part of our project, I put up some bins today. So we have no other bins anymore. This is it. And uh, we're going to be using auger at least for a little while. I don't know if we're going to stay with this like long term in the map because running auto drive with this might. Oh, there's a house back there. John, there's a house back there. Uh, running auto drive with an auger might turn out to be a very interesting uh, proposition, you know, or interesting thing that we're going to be doing here. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. But uh, for right now, we're going to we're going to run this. I don't actually need to put this up right now because we don't actually um, have anything to harvest right now. So. I think you should fit check it. I'm fit. Yeah, I'm fit checking, basically. See, this one barely, barely works. But it, it will work. This is where you need two people and the guy on top of the bin just starts screaming at the guy on the tractor, you know? I've seen it before. I've never been a part of this, but I've seen people do this. But see, that just barely works. That's up all the way. Well, it can go down a little once you unhook it. But that's all right. So the homestead's a bit empty right now. Uh, homestead is is a bit empty right now. Let's put it that way. So I got three of the easy sheds at the back end, and then two big sheds. One's got the shop in it. The other one doesn't. And then uh, a couple of pavilion sheds for like combines right now. And then I kind of ran out of money to do anything with the rest of that. It'll be fine. Okay, Trent. I know you've used it, Trap, but what I'm getting at, maybe we'll just have five separate points here because we have five bins. That's the part I don't know how we're going to do yet. We'll have to figure that out at some point. I was just going to do it out to make sure that your drive over deck's in the same spot. For all five bins? Build cool. for the point. Do what? For the point. For auto drive. Yeah. Every time you move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we will probably end up doing something like that. Yeah. Or just get five decks, five augers. <laughs> just set this all up at once. <laughs> uh, okay. How do I? How do I? There, there's that. So we can make it squat a little bit, and then there we go. So I assume what we'll do is we'll run this out like somewhere out here, and then you put the drive over over that and then you have stuff drive over it oh here comes the auto the drive over right now look at that wow that's convenient i think there's soybeans actually in that drive over there is there's 145 yeah, i put them in there earlier by accident we can put them in the, there they go all right and then you would drive over that There's 145 soybeans in that three beans in that bin. Nice. So you drive in, turn, hit this up to the bin. I think it'd be really cool, but I don't think you could do it set up like the Welkers have, where like the bins are in a semicircle, like a C, almost, and then the auger would just swing. But like the augers that we have, the wheels here don't turn. They like rotate around. That'd be really cool if you could do that. But could you use the stacking conveyor. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't reach. Hmm. Just realized the RPM gauge doesn't work on this auger. Uh, but anyway, so that's that. So we have 5.5 million storage here, which is 
most likely more than we'll need but we do have more room for expansion there's plenty of room here i was a little nervous about that but there's plenty of room there like that all right you guys need help plowing you guys are almost done all right, i'm just gonna park equipment find a tractor back to my mighty alice they can't move Trent, this Alice will not move that auger, by the way. That convey all will not move it. Wow, Trent. Savage. Trent's a savage. I've been busy doing other stuff, Trent. Carson and Dave are doing a great job. They're they're getting they are almost done. Just saying, bruh. 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 All right. I gotta, or I gotta get at least some of this equipment out of the road. Okay, it's bothering me. Just, uh, just saying. Kind of a lot of equipment just parked everywhere. Trent, you're doing a great job too. Helping with the plowing, yeah. Bam. Not the only one. Okay. Hey, if I got done, like, doing stuff, I was going to help them, but they're almost done, and, you know, might as well try to park a little bit of equipment. Just saying. Probably not going to park the cedars, because uh, we're probably going to use those here in a minute. I'm thinking corn this next time, chat. Hey, back for collectible hunting on Saturday. Wow. That was funny, Dave. When I was editing, I, I came across your comment where it was like, is the work done so we can come back now or whatever you said? Uh, in editing, I came across that one and I was like, that's funny. It made me laugh. So that comment got me twice. Just saying. I just said I was going to leave cedars out, and then I immediately hook up to a cedar and park it. That's right. Oh, here's another thing we should get, like should do is get rid of this small uh, small spreader. Probably get a second big one or a Pro Force. What is that planter? That is a John Deere. Uh, it's a John Deere, uh, 1720. It's in the mod hub. It is in the mod hub. It is a three point hitch box planner, which is pretty cool. It works fairly well too. It really does. I like it. And I can pull it with my Alice Chalmers. So, you know. Looks a little weird, but it does work. Does work. All right. It's like something you might see in, say, Nebraska or like North Texas, or Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, they run that kind of stuff. What is that for? Oh, that's Trent Seed Tender, that wagon. I was like, what is that wagon for? Why is that just sitting there? I forget. Forgot Trent had a seed tender. We could put a road in down here too. Nah, I like the one road actually. Yeah, definitely need a lot more dressing up in this homestead. We're, we're definitely not done with it. For today. Money's an issue, so. We still have to play it to... You know, our next crop. We do have some be beans in the bin and stuff, so we'll be okay. But got to get through planting before we can uh, make another dollar. So yeah, I don't think we need the lime this time, do we? Or wait, we're gonna need to. Okay, I'll have to repurchase a bunch of data here in a minute. Might as well. Um, it's gonna cost so much money. Wait for you to get done plowing, then I'll buy. Then I'll buy it all. Okay. 
back your engine testing. Mysterious man, what's going on? How you doing today? Beer already, Sean? Let's go, buddy. I'm here for it. That's awesome. All right, Sean. All right. Okay. No, oh, in game. It's 8 a.m., Sean. And wrong map. We have our beer on the other map. We don't have it on this map. <laughs> That's the other map. It is Tranquil Waters. It's also been 8 a.m. for the last like four hours IRL too. Wait, it's beer 30 for the last four hours? According to endgame time. This time hasn't moved yet. Right. FC factory time. I actually turned that that I have that mod still, Sean, but I did turn it off. I have turned it off. Keep driving around that mess, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No buff. It'll buff jet. Alright. I didn't realize we had four of those cedars now. Holy cow. Awesome. Got four cedars and four plows. Oh. Wow. Alright. Alright, so I think Dave's done. Okay. This line. Oh, hello, hello. What are we doing? Why, 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 why? Look out. Got a little uh, strange there, Chad. I'm gonna lie. Just a little bit. All right, but yeah, we're gonna get like the buy points everywhere or buy points in the homestead eventually. You know, a fuel, probably not a fuel barrel, actually. I was just gonna say fuel, but there's there's like, a gas station across. Yeah. A gas station literally right right there so i don't it, my alice chalmers tractor is not not liking life today we're just gonna park this thing a little lumpy over here too maybe that's something to do with it i don't know say so i need a tractor maybe i got you Everything's tangled up over here. It's like somebody threw everything over here. Cars. I didn't throw them. I parked them. Sorry. That's in slamming in reverse, but. Uh, there are mechanics. Yeah, we have a crack mechanic team that walks through the homestead. That's they're kind of they're kind of part-time mechanic, part-time security. Yeah. Trent, what's up? Depending on the, the need. Hello? What's poppin'? Uh, right? We out farming today? Uh, truckin'. Out truckin'. Part of farming, right? I guess, sadly. <laughs> you not like truckin'? No, it's just today, the, the lines. I say, I don't think your uncle cares if you don't like trucking, honestly. <laughs> what do you care? You're getting paid regardless. Sit in line, right? No? Uh, every, every two weeks, I get paid. But you're getting paid to sit in line, right? Kind of. Kind but of. I also have to get paid. I'm paid by the bushel. By the bushel. That's why lines kind of suck. I got gotcha. you. You're paid by the hour. I wish. <laughs> buy the bushel, he says, Jet. So do I just rebuy the data for, like, the homestead fields now? Or, like, how's that work? Did I just buy Will it? Will it affect our score? I don't know. Just gonna buy it because it looks ugly. Okay. 
Uh, favorite semi mod. I you know didn't change the signal thing. Are we out of money? We have three hundred thousand. What about the loan? It's not doing anything those fields when I buy that for the record. And then it's probably junk. Because they're not fields anymore, so. Uh, I have a uh, Peterbilt. Oh, yeah, it's, you know, that butchered our vital. Oh, man. Way to go, John. I butchered it. Uh, Plow it up, start over. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it says our average is 99 right now. You know what? Maybe those don't count against our average because they're not fields. I kind of think that might be what it is, honestly. I think they might have changed that a while back. Um, I don't really use a ton of modded trucks. I do have a nice... Uh, that's a Peterbilt, right? That nice truck we have from Plugger. I want to say it's a Pete. It's a nice truck. Peterbilt. But... Other than that, we don't typically, I don't use a lot of modded, uh, modded trucks. So, yeah. So, this thing kind of, like, could use a little, little giddy-up. Oh, I hate that fence so much. I wish I could take that fence out, chat. I can't. Very ugly. What's wrong with field? What's wrong with what field? Did you buy 50 and 51 already? Yeah. No. Slow updating. 50 and 51, yes. They have been purchased. We're probably going to have to roll everything, too. How am I missing 53? Did I miss 53? You know what? I guess I did. No. I totally already bought that. And there's nothing there. What do you mean? 53? Mm -hmm. You already have it. I know, so I thought. You just bought it like three more times. I know. Well, Farmer Chef said I missed it, but I don't. I think I already had it. I'll... Um, roll everything? No, we don't roll, Carson. Hmm. <laughs> Even though it says to. It's going to say that every time you harvest, though. So. So. Or where you can turn like the help icons off. Uh, yeah. In your settings, I believe you can. The yellow ones. Ooh, I like what you did with the... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. What you did with this edge over here. Well, that's not... Is that straight down yonder or no? Where? Like, where you cur curve in, then beyond that, is that straight? Yeah, the road's not straight. Oh, that's the optical illusion. Okay. The road's got a curve in, too. Yeah, you're right. And it peels away, but... The Okay. Yeah, you're good. All right, we're good, chat. We're good. So I just need to like you know lime the world now. Look at Might all this field. Doing that for a while. Do what? Might be doing that for a while. Uh, yeah. Need another one. Oh, Look at all this tractor. land that we picked up right here, chat. But this thing, this tractor and plowed ground are kind of real together, huh? Dude. Pretty sure I'd Not get whiplash sure. inside this cab, dude. <laughs> uh, it's a bit bouncy. That's okay, though. It's plowed ground. It should be. At least a little bit. Although with a big tractor like this with big tires on plowed ground, it wouldn't be that bad. Especially if it was still like soft plowed ground. Wouldn't be terrible. No, this is definitely gonna work though. I'm I'm here for this field now. Trent, we finally did everything. Well, the homestead's not done, but like we're getting there. The homestead doesn't have any character right now. It's kind of plain and ugly. That's all right. All good. Who we'll plowed out of the line there? Well, that was from before. Dang it, that was probably me. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. And these little green things out here should disappear when we plant. Uh, for the record. You didn't see any field stones anywhere, did you? No. Alright, goddamn. Shouldn't be. 
And I need to refill my beverage. The good thing is we're not using a ton of lime for the record. Only down to 81%, 80%. So it's not terrible on the consumption. It's just there's a lot to do. Not a huge deal though. Was that a camo cup? It is a hunter green cup. And well, with my green screen in the background there, it just kind of, you know, disappears. So not camo per se, no. But uh, definitely, uh, definitely does just disappear. You betcha. Which is, it is funny, yeah. It is definitely amusing. It is a Tupperware Hunter Green Cup. My mother used to sell uh, Tupperware back in the day, so we have a ton of them. Looks camo. All right, Dave. Plastic I'll... cups are way better than glass cups. I, yeah, I've always grown, I... We have glasses in my house, but I was never trusted with them as a child. So, usually the glass ones. Hey, I'm driving here. Hey, usually the I'm, glass ones are saved for like adult beverages. Yeah. Like when people are over and they're kind of, you know, participating. Mom used drinks. to always use glass and like that was pretty much it. The rest of us were like plastic. Jacob, what's going on, man? How are you? Welcome in. How was work today? Hope it was well. Hope it went well for you. Right. Hope it went well. All right, let's go. Let's go. How did the beer taste last night? Um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't have any beer last night, Jacob. No beers for me. I know you're talking about farm sim beer, but still didn't have any of that either. So, I did make a. We have. We have like a lot. We have like thirty something thousand liters already of beer. They've said BRB, but yet he's still driving around. Is he really? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, this homestead definitely needs more character. Very plain right now. I want to put lights in, you know. Lights will help quite a bit. Um. Yeah, we're not done yet. We just ran out of money, chat, so. Can you take 15k? Sure, Chuck. That can be your payment for uh, helping out last night. How about that? You betcha, Chuck. <laughs> Needs a beer factory. Wrong map, Jacob. Wrong map, my guy. No, we just ran out of money today. That's all. We just ran out of money. We just don't. $300,000, I'd rather hold that, you know, get planted. Oh, got you, Dave. All good. All good. Wow, Jacob. Wow, wow, wow. We don't have the crop either to grow beer here. There's no hops on this map. Ain't got that. All right. <laughs> Uh, I guess you could put that in there too, yeah. Yeah, definitely could, I guess. Everything's possible. That's the whole thing. Anything's possible. So basically what we've done, Chad, is we took uh, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. Plus some surrounding areas. And we made a homestead. It's not done. It's massive, though. We have 5.5 .5 million grain storage as of right now. We can always add more. 
And uh, it's going to be awesome, I think, right? Yeah. Just needs some more... Needs some more flair, you know? Needs a... Maybe a mechanic spot. This it, That one shed does have it inside, but that's kind of a pain to get to. But, like, maybe a mechanic. Maybe uh, seed fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, that kind of stuff. Lime. Just to buy everything point, let's be real. Uh, we can put those that kind of stuff in, you know? That'll help dress up the map a little bit. Chat, I think it's everybody's favorite time of day. I think it might be, chat. New ending stream? Wow, Carson, no. Not, not for a while. Mode. Oh, it's the guy across the street. Okay. I was thinking it was annoying neighbor with the Mode, but it's the guy across the street. Oh, uh, not, not beer drinking time? No. No. I don't know if she's there right now. You know, the one that gets hauled off by the cops or the ambulance once a week. I was more or less talking about you, but... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, we, dude, we can go with that. I haven't had any alcohol since the 3rd of July, okay? I was about to last night. I didn't. Did time, not. Though. I didn't have any last night. I should have, because we were playing Fortnite. But I chose not to. I kind of like ate a lot of pizza and then I didn't feel good last night. I can't imagine why. No clue. But that's all right. The pizza was worth it. Okay. Definitely worth it. Yeah, we'll dress up the homestead eventually. It'll look good. It'll look better when we get another a couple hundred thousand dollars. To, uh, you know. I like lights. I love putting lights in homesteads, too. I just hope Sarge isn't leggy in there. <laughs> Although, he can't uh, join us on most of these day streams anymore, so... Not too big of a deal, I guess. Although, if it's raining, usually he's here, so... Right. The good thing is, I'm barely using lime right now. Barely. That's kind of good. I like that idea. Use a little more when I get over there, but that's fine. Don't creek site. I wish that would update that on the map just to be like a gravel patch. And show like the buildings maybe too. That'd be nice. Unfortunately, I won't do that. And you know, I just realized looking at my camera, looking at the guy across the street mowing his grass. That him and the next neighbor have the same little, uh, uh, what's it called? Craftsman little rider. They have like the same one. I never realized that till right now. Oh man. What? You filled in the basement to this other barn. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a staircase over here. Never mind. It might be filled in though. I'm not sure. No, it's, there's just minor leak of gravel, Dude. but it's. Yeah, the basement is cool, but, like, we never use it, so. I figured, why not just fill it in and be done? Or what are you trying to put down there? Nothing, I just oh. walked oh. by and I saw, like, there's a gap under the building. Yeah. Yeah, that landscape is not quite perfect there, but it's it's all right. Good enough. I mean, it looks, looks good from here, the landscaping, anyway, yeah. Definitely looks good from where I'm at. Are you, when are you guys free? No. All right, cool. The price is free. I'm busy. That's fine. Be busy. I don't care. I'm trying to clean uh, up your mess in here. I'll be in and like whenever it pops up. Yeah. Good luck. We've already had to restart the game twice, twice today, Trent. So I gotta speed. wait a year for it to pop up. Godspeed. I bought another lime spreader is what I'm getting at. If one of you guys wants to grab a tractor. Wow, Dave. Way to just, like, stop my tractor, Dave. Dude. <laughs> Unit over there, dang. Dude, Dave hit hard. Linebacker from the University of... <laughs> Dude. I saw Dude, one some of those. Some of those are so good. I saw one where it was like a... Uh, it, was a it was a gate. 